Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you are new. This is Sims Life, and I do random tutorials for The Sims. And in this tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to make custom flooring for The Sims 4. And for this, you will need a couple of programs. You will need a Sims 4 Studio and a photo, edit, a photo editing software. I personally use Photoshop, but I think you can use things like GIMP, maybe Paint.net. I don't know. I've, I've never used either one of those, but I'm pretty sure they're similar. So the first program I'm going to look at is Sims 4 Studio. And when you open it, you've got to make sure that you have your creator name there. And you want to go to, since we're doing flooring, I'm going to, I'm going to do one carpeting and one hardwood. So you want to go to build mode and right here where it says type, uh, change that to floor. And then you want to go ahead and tick the first one and then hit next. And here is where you want to name your package. This is going to be the name of the package that people see when they download your custom content. And I, for just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to call it uh, tutorial floor. I forget the spell. <laughs> and then you go ahead and you save your package. I'm going to go ahead and save it right into my, my mods folder since it's for pretty much for me. Okay. Now, mine might look a little bit different, but that's just because I changed the, the color of my screen, which you can do right here in the, the settings here. So that way nobody gets confused. Just click on here and then you can change it to whatever color you want. Also, in this area is where you, you here you can give your, you go ahead and you name it. I'm just going to name it carpet or whatever here and then you can just go ahead and give it a description I'm just gonna put by and uh, my creator name and you could also change the the price on it if you want to so and that's pretty much all we're gonna do here and then for here we're not gonna worry about the normal or the specular we're only gonna look at the diffuse part so what you want to do is you want to go to Google and you just type in like something like carpet textures or or patterns and uh, and make sure that whichever one you choose that it's like the same height and width. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at this one here and this one here is 800 by 800, so it's even. So I'm gonna go ahead and you just want it even on all sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it as. And then we're just going to put it right in this folder here. It's just for my, my custom content. And then I'm going to, I'm going to open it up in Photoshop. So once you have it open, you want to change the image size and you want to change it to 512 by 512. So make sure that constraint proportions is checked so that way when you go ahead and you change the one, they both change. And another thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to make sure that it's seamless. So that way when you go ahead and you put it on the floor, there's no lines, you know, showing in, showing in the floor. So you want to go to filter, go to other, go to offset. And horizontal, you want 256, and vertical, you want 256, and then hit OK. And as long as there's no lines going down the middle or across, as long as it's it's flat, that means that it is seamless. So we're going to go ahead and save that. Save it as a, a uh, PNG. Right there. <laughs> um, I'm just, it, this doesn't matter what you call this because this is just for you. Just so, just name it something that you're going to, you're going to know what it is when you go in 
go to import it and hit OK. And then we're going to go back in the Sims 4 Studio and we're going to import our carpet. And there it is. Right there. I'm going to click off these because we don't, we don't need those. If you want to do like a uh, swatch to match the color, just right click on the, the swatch area and then click somewhere on the rug and that'll match, that'll match the col color. And then we will save it. So that's, that's the rug. And then I'm also going to do one wood. So it's, it's pretty much done the exact same, the exact same way. You're going to want to type in like wood texture. And then you want to do the same thing. You want to look for a wood texture that's same height, same width. Let's see this one here. Okay, this one here is uh, 1024 by 1024. So we're just going to go ahead and try this one. We're going to do save as. Same thing, just save it. Open up your Photoshop. You're going to, we're going to open up a new one. And then we're going to open the wood. And then we're going to go to image, image size, the same thing, make sure that that's checked, it should still be checked. And then do 512 by 512, hit OK. And then we're going to go to filter because we got to check it. You always want to check it before you do it so you don't waste your time. You know, 256 by 256 and then hit OK. And just, just for the sake of this video, I'm going to add it to the same package that I added the carpet too, but normally I would make a separate package file for this. So you want to, you know, add your extra swatch. Make sure you're on the fuse. Hit import. Hold on. I forgot to save it. <laughs> save it. Save it as a PNG. Make sure PNG because it's all that the, the game recognizes. So we'll just do wood. Sorry about that. Then we'll save. Okay, save it. Now we'll go ahead and add it. I'm gonna make sure you're on the fuse, import, and add the wood. There we go. And then once you have everything in there, let's go ahead and there we go. Just so that way. Over here you can change your, your tags. So I'm just gonna put this one as like maybe like brown. I think it's probably more white. Um, well that's for the, we'll do dark brown actually here, because <clears throat> this is for the wood. Uncheck those, check wood, because it's a wood floor. And then we'll go to the first one, because this is the carpet. We'll add carpet, and then we'll keep that one gray. Maybe, maybe white, I don't know. And then you save your package. And now we'll just go in a game and see how it looks. Okay, now we're in game. So I, I know I have no flooring. I was kind of messing around earlier and then I pulled out a package and saved my game. So we're going to go into build mode to the floor section. And if we click on carpet, it's going to be there automatically since we tagged it. So here's the carpet. I'm going to place them both. We'll go ahead and place uh, this one here. And the living area and then here's the wood put that there and maybe put that there I guess we can add it to the bathroom too that way you guys can see and there we go there's the wood and it's smooth there's there's no lines going through it and there we go so that is how you make custom flooring that's how you make carpeting and wood floors and you would do the same thing with um, tiles. Just make sure that it's seamless. Anyways, guys, I hope this helped. I hope you learned something. If it helped, uh, please don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe for future tutorials. Bye, guys.